Hello and welcome to our Little People Big Dream series and this book is about Alan Turing. Let's get started. Little Alan was a boy from London who went to boarding school when he was very young. He was shy and nobody expected much from him. But often the quietest people achieve the most extraordinary things. And this is little Alan. He's going to the boarding school from London. At school, Alan spent so much time alone that he learned to read all by himself. He could also solve mathematical problems in his head before his teachers taught him how. Everything changed when Alan met Christopher. They both shared a passion for maths and science and planned to study at Cambridge University together. Alan just couldn't imagine life without his friend. He had fallen in love. He was ready to move to Cambridge when he got a, some terrible news. Christopher had died suddenly. Alan, who had always been lonely, felt more alone than ever. University couldn't cure his broken heart, but it kept his well, brain I... busy. <laughs> Alan was working on a crazy idea, a machine that could calculate any sum. Alan's design was the ancestor of the computers we use today. But he didn't have the chance to build it. Half of Europe had been invaded by Germany and Alan's destiny was about to change forever. This is Alan. And this place is called Bletchley Park. And that's the place where um, some scientists and mathematicians had broken the code enigma by German forces. When Britain joined the war, war against Germany, Alan and other brilliant minds were hired to break the code used by the Germans to send secret messages to their soldiers. Mathematicians, chess players, engineers, they all failed to crack enigma, the code-making machine built by the Nazis. Alan knew that another machine, not a human mind, was the only thing to beat it. Nobody believed in Alan's idea, so he wrote to the Prime Minister asking for help to build his device. Once he got permission, it was just a matter of time before his machine solved the first of many riddles. Alan's machine helped to win the war and save, saved millions of lives. But his name was kept secret and no one knew he was a hero. Alan was just happy to go back to work on his computers. War is over. Tragically, Alan became the victim of an unfair law against gay people. He lost his job and he was forced to take a strange treatment that made him feel very sad. It took more than 50 years for the British government to apologize for treating Alan and thousands of gay people so terribly. They showed great courage by being themselves in a time of great prejudice. And today, the world is much more open-minded thanks to little Alan the father of computer science, the boy who believed that those who can imagine anything can create the impossible. And these are the real pictures of Alan Turing. He was born in 1912 and he died in 1954. Alan Matheson Turing was born in Paddington, London, as the second son of a civil servant, Julius, and his wife, Ethel. While his parents lived and worked overseas in India, Alan and his brother John grew up in houses across England. As a young boy, he was given, the, given a copy of The Natural Wonders Every Child Should Know, which quickly prompted an interest in the scientific world. 
Educated at Sherborne School, he met Christopher Morecambe, a student, in the year above with above with whom Ellen fall, fell in love. <clears throat> Christopher's sudden death, aged nineteen, made Ellen more determined than ever to achieve great things. Ellen went on to study mathematics at King's College in Cambridge and later at Princeton in the U.S., nurturing an interest in probability and logic. He was already working part-time for the British government's Gordon Cipher School before World War II broke out. In 1939, Allen began to decipher the military codes used by Germany and its allies at Bletchley Park. He invented a machine that intercepted messages sent by the Germans, which alerted Allied forces to attack and save millions of lives. Despite terrible persecution and prejudice for being gay, Allen went on to create the early modern computer in the years after the war. More than half a century later, Britain formally apologized for mistreating Allen and millions of other gay men who suffered in Britain. Today, Allen is considered to be the father of computer science and artificial